Good afternoon, guys. If I look a little different, it's because I just brushed out all of my signature waves because on today's vlog, I'm gonna show you how I take care of these roots. So come along with me and I'll show you how to do it. The family fudge, the family fudge. They are mostly sweet but full of nuts. So if you're finding this channel for the first time because you're interested in this hair tutorial that I'm hoping to show in this vlog, my name is Jennifer and I'm the mom of the family fudge. And generally we show family related things on this channel, but I thought since I needed to do my hair anyway, I would go ahead and show you how I do it because I like my videos, if I can, if I can, to help somebody else. So when I was looking for tutorials on how to do uh, my hair, I wasn't finding a lot. So if this helps you out, I will be so happy. And if you just like to watch hair, then enjoy. The plan is for the kids to stay with my husband and for my mom and I to go to Sally's and pick up the materials that I need. I need some Wella toners. I think I have everything else. I might need some purple shampoo and a deep conditioner as well. So that's what we're gonna do today. Sounds good. Let's go. Here's all the stuff that we already have. We have our gloves and our cape, a mixing bowl and a brush, a bottle. Our bleach that we're going to be using is the Clairol Violet. What's this called? Yep, it's Violet Collider Color. Violet Kaleida color. We're going to be using that to bleach out the hair and we have some conditioners, some towels, gloves, and then we're going to be using this um, cap to pull the hair through. We're going to be using these hooks to pull the hair through the cap. So let's go. Are you ready? Ready. Let's go. So we're heading out the door to go to Sally's and guess what? I just remembered I'm still wearing my slippers and I have no socks. So I got to go get those. <laughs> Today's socks are peanut butter and jelly, friends. Yes, I am a big nerd. And I have big feet. Let's go. All right, here we are at Sally's. And there's some copyrighted music playing, so I'm not going to be able to film very much in here. Let me see if I can find the toners. The Wella toners. Let's see if they have the one I need. Look, they did have it. I've got a T11 and a T28, and I'm going to mix the two together. One cancels out yellow in blonde hair and the other cancels out orange in blonde hair. So you get more of a white, light blonde. So we finished up in Sally's and thankfully I was able to find the shades that I wanted. So before we get home, because it'll probably be loud at home, I'll go ahead and show you what I got. So I picked up, I'll show you the colors first. Okay, this is the Wella Charm Toner. One in the T28 and a T11. And I already told you what I'm gonna do with those. And then I picked up this purple shampoo. And I don't use this every time because it's really not that great for your hair. But um, it helps to cancel the brassiness in blonde hair. I'll show this to you. It is super, super purple. And so if you're not careful, if you leave this on your hair too long, well for me, my hair will look green or really, really gray. But it does help um, in between um, touch-ups to help keep the brassiness away and then I picked up a bag of clear elastics for the girls and then I got a new fingernail file because Lily stole my last one and she broke it in half that girl I gotta hide everything from her and then my mom picked up some 4x4 styling glaze and what do you do with this style you can use it before a blow dry or with a roller set. Yeah. Like I said, she's a real like beautician hairstylist, so she needed this for her work. And then some fancy full leave-in condition leave in color? Wash in color. Wash in color. She does a lot of little old ladies. Maybe I shouldn't say little old ladies in case we have little old ladies watching, but anyway, so there's our haul. Let's go home and fix this. It's probably gonna take a couple hours mm -hmm. so I'll show you as much of that process as I can without making it totally boring okay guys so before we get started I just want to say that it I always suggest going to a professional first but lucky me I have my professional come to me so she's been doing my hair for years in fact I think I've only had a haircut by somebody other than her once in my entire life and that's it she's always cut my hair or uh, sometimes I've cut it myself but it's always been my mom. So over the years I've had, 
every shade of hair imaginable. I've had red hair. If I can find it, I'll show you red hair. I've had black hair. Um, but I prefer blonde. I like blonde on me. So before I get started, I have a t-shirt on, something that is not super fancy, that if I get color on it, I would be sad. So just a t-shirt. And we are gonna use a drape as well. And then we also wanna make sure that we're in a well-ventilated area because this can get stinky. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to lighten the roots and then we will move on to the toning portion. So, as you can see, my natural color isn't super dark. It's just not as light as I prefer. So, I'll show you what we're gonna do next. I just thought I would let you know that I'm starting with like second day hair. It is not super clean or freshly washed at all because the natural oils that are on there will actually help protect your hair because this is not very good for your hair at all. But I'm gonna do it anyway because I like to. And what else? Second day hair. Get out all the oh, tangles. Oh, getting out all the tangles because we're gonna be using this frosting cap. Um, you could use foils and I think a lot of people use foils now but I like the, the flexibility of this because we can actually pull out or pull all of my hair through that I wanna do and at that point I could take a break if I needed to and help a child or feed a baby. And then when I'm done, then I could put the color or the bleach on. Otherwise, if I was doing foils, once you start, you've got to keep going. You can't take any breaks, right? That's right. So I like the flexibility of this. And I could probably do this myself if I needed to. I could pull these through myself if I had like a mirror or my husband could help me. You could probably do this yourself mm -hmm. with these little hooks. So I, I am a little bit nervous to show you guys this because I'm going to look pretty embarrassing for a while. But hopefully you'll either find it helpful or entertaining. So, <laughs> all right, here we go. All tangles are out. Try not. I'm going to look pretty crazy for a while. The things we do for beauty, right? Yeah. There's a fun thumbnail for you right there. So she is poking the crochet hook through these holes. I don't know if you can see this. There's holes that you can use as a guide to where you should pull the hair through. And that kind of helps you disperse the um, strands evenly. Some of these you would uh, put like a cap on or some saran wrap I've seen people do and then yeah. and then um, heat. heat. But does this one take heat? No. Okay. Not necessary. Okay. Okay, it's been on for about 10 minutes. So we're gonna check it and if it's light enough, I'm gonna wash it off. So how we check it is to get a small piece of it and wipe the product off to see how light it is. It's still got a touch of the goldness to it. Okay. So I think we could, we're could we safe to smear some back on and let it set a few more minutes. Okay, so we left it on for about five more minutes and tested it again, and it's looking like a color that I like. So I'm gonna go hop in the shower and wash this off, and I will not be taking you with me to the shower. So I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> okay, so I got in the shower and I washed off the bleach I took the cap off and then I combed through the tangles. This is what I'm left with. And I'm seeing some pink hair in there. So we're gonna mix up the toner and put that on and then we'll see if it's still pink or not. Who knows? All right, I've got a new fresh clean cape on and we're gonna mix up the toner.
All right, we got the toner on the hair. We're gonna leave this for about 10 minutes. We're gonna keep checking on it. It will look pink and purple, so it will look a little bit scary, but it shouldn't turn my hair pink and purple. We'll see. There's a baby. Look. Oh, there's a baby. <gasps> Do you see yourself? I can't hold you right now. Yeah. I can't hold him till I'm done. I don't want him to touch it. All right, so I have to have this on my hair for about 10 to 15 minutes, but the mail just came. So I'm pretty excited about this one. I thought I would show it to you. I think I know what it is. I try, shh. Normally I like to go to after Christmas uh, clearance sales, but this year I knew there was nothing that there was nothing that I really needed, no matter how good the price was, except for one thing. And I ordered it on Amazon, and it ended up taking extra time to get here because of all the snow in the country. So, this is kind of something for the kids, I'm hoping turns into a tradition. Ooh, it is what I think it is. Wait, it's not Christmas anymore. No, it's not Christmas anymore, but I'm gonna put it away for next year. This is an heirloom advent calendar. So normally the kids do the uh, little chocolate um, advent calendars, but I wanted something that we could all do every year. It's got 25 drawers, little square drawers, and you can fit mini toys in there or candies or ornaments. So for next Christmas, I'm looking forward to using this. And I found this on Amazon and I will link it below if I can find the link for it if you want to check it out. So I should probably build it, but I only have about six minutes left and then I gotta wash this out. I don't want to forget about the toner on here. Anyway, this is super cool. I'm excited to try this next year. And it can become like a family tradition. I'm excited about that. Oh, it's already put together. I don't have to build it. Oh, there it is. That is so cute. Look at that. It's actually cardboard, like really sturdy cardboard. I thought it was gonna be wood, but I probably I probably didn't read the thing correctly. So like for day one, open the little box and I can put three little candies inside and we can count down to Christmas with this next year. Super cute. Do you think it's gonna be cool? Oh, he's so excited about it. There we go. Okay, back to hair. Okay, I got it all washed out, nice and clean, and he was having a hard time because I couldn't hold him and he did not like it. But we're all better now, right? Where's your smile? Smile, oh, there's a nice smile. All right, so now I'm gonna dry it and I will show you how it turned out. This is real life. We got dinner cooking back there. We got a baby sleeping. A kid climbing on the counter. Get down. Get down. That's dangerous. He's coming to watch. So I don't think you've ever seen me with smooth hair. Smooth hair. The roots are gone. They're a little bit hot right now, but this will fade in a couple of days. But I love it. So my mom's just gonna give it a trim. These ends are pretty. Fried, yeah. So she's gonna trim it a bit, and then while they're having dinner, I think I will style it up and show you the finished product. All right, guys, there is the final product. Now, it looks a little bit different in this light than it looks outside, but I love it. There's hardly any, I don't see any roots. Got a little bit of a trim. It's a little bit shorter and healthier looking. Thanks, Mom, I love it. You're welcome. <laughs> anyway, so leave me a comment down below if you've ever had any hair disasters and let me know what you did about them. Thanks for joining me today. See you next time.